So we are out at the Mount Wilson Observatory public star party. It's this weekend and we're up here at the observatory right here behind me up at about 5,000 feet elevation above Los Angeles. It's pretty awesome and uh, the views are beautiful. The air is clean but tonight we are trying to get some awesome astronomy photos. So we brought out a couple of telescopes. We're gonna set this guys up right now and then yeah the main thing we're gonna try and get is a picture of Jupiter tonight because it is at the closest that it has been in 40 years and uh, it's gonna be another 40 years before it gets this close again. So we're gonna try and get it up. All right, we gotta set these things up and get this party started. Let it out. Let it out a little. That's basically what we're doing right now is setting up everything. Well, it's daylight because you can't set this up in the dark. It's just too hard. Sorry guys, we just went 5,000 feet, 5,500 feet. I'm a little winded. Just a little. A little. So these have to be loose. See these knobs here? When yeah. you turn them, it, it will move the telescope up and down. Okay. All right. I think I'll put the two incher on the. We're almost ready. It's about 5:52. The sun's gonna set in about an hour, so it's gonna get dark out here. Very dark. Maybe too dark to even film out here, but we'll see. Uh, got some lighting set up. Uh, red lights, not white lights, because you can't have white lights out here. It's gonna blind people. Take all the caps out of the eyepieces so they're ready to go. Sure, the eyepieces between the, the different. Uh... Do you have two uh, two inch things? No. Okay. But I have uh, one inch eyepieces here. Yeah. And then that other box is more eyepieces. Yes. Right up there is a star called Polaris, which we also call the North Star. And the whole sky spins around Polaris. So it stays right in the middle. So it's right there. You see where it says Polaris? We are on top of the world here at Mount Wilson. Not really, but uh, it is 5,500 feet. So it's up pretty high and the sun is setting and it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go check it out. And uh, this is called the Cosmic Cafe over here. And it is a coffee shop up on top of the world. Great views of Los Angeles. That's what they say. I didn't make it up. It's, uh, it's interesting how far you can actually see how when you get up here. When it's, when it's clear, you can see Mexico. Yeah. 150 plus miles. Wow. But not today. <laughs> no. <laughs> San Onofre Hill is, is there, so that's okay. It's halfway to San Diego. So that's is that, that that hill out? That tilted one. The one that's higher on the left than the right? Yeah. It's like way out there. Yeah. That's that's, that's the, the point. That's uh, San Onofre. That's Okay. Wow. That's crazy. If you look the other way, you can see the Channel Islands out of Ventura. You can see Catalina. There's a lot of stuff out there to look at, but man, this sun is killing my eyes. <laughs> it is bright. So this is open during normal hours. And you can come up here and get some uh, coffee. You can get hot chocolate, tea, all that kind of stuff. And you can come and sit at the tables here and look at the, the beautiful view. It's pretty, it's a pretty good idea, honestly. I wouldn't mind coming up here to do that. It's very pretty. <laughs> Why is Adam Levine flirting with my cat? That's, that's a little weird. You guys like my Indiana Jones hat too? This thing's pretty, it's pretty tight. Got it at Goodwill for like five bucks. <laughs>
All right, well, we have returned to the parking lot with all the telescopes, and now there is a Volvo telescope. I don't know what to make of this. We should go check it out. Oh my. <laughs> is this the Volvo telescope? Restaurant on here. We've got the meat over there. This meat is as old as I am, but still rocking. Not much you can see right now because it's not dark yet. And we just gotta wait for it to get dark. <laughs> and then another six or seven hours out here. So one of the things that I wanted to do while I'm up here is to make a time lapse of the stars going by. So I do have my GoPro Hero 10 on an external battery and I'm gonna set it up and let it run. This is how I'm doing it. I got a tripod set up, I got the battery, I got the camera. Hopefully I don't forget about the GoPro up here because uh, it'd be pretty bad if I drove off with it stuck to the top of my car. Hmm, maybe I should use the suction cup mount so that I don't have a problem with this, just in case I decide to drive off and leave it attached to my car. I'm gonna use the suction cup mount in case I forget it. I'm <laughs> gonna go ahead and suction cup that down. And we need the night sky. Some of the antennas and the trees out here. Now I'm gonna set this up to be time-lapse mode. This is going to give us 4K auto and it will pick the exposure. So cross my fingers, hope this works. I've done it before camping, so I think it's gonna be okay, but let's try. You know, I got that Hoto flashlight that I've been using in my latest uh, little videos and stuff, making shorts on YouTube here. But um, yeah, Hoto sent me this flashlight and it's been a pretty good light, but um, I decided when I was coming up here to use the lantern mode, put a bunch of red tape on it because you can't have white light out here or else it ruins your night vision. But red, not so bad, so. It is now dark and we're just getting these things aligned. Yeah, it's very dark out here. It's very hard to film. Trying to get some uh, shots of Saturn and Jupiter, but uh, it's, it's, it's pretty hard. We got a new phone mount. I don't know if this is gonna happen, guys. I don't know. We need to we need to experiment some more. Maybe we should go test out the hotel. I think we should go test out the hotel. <laughs> Maybe I should eat first, though. We've got some sandwiches we brought with us, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. After eating some dinner, so come down here. They actually have an entire like snacks concession thing going on, which is pretty awesome. Taking a break because it's a little overwhelming. There's a lot of people over there crowding around the telescopes. And, um, I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to be able to get done on this as far as taking any uh, Jupiter pictures or star pictures. Well, let's see what we can get done, but I'm not going to... I am not going to have high expectations right now. <laughs> it sure is pretty out here at night though. Look at that. Yeah, they're all twinkling. Well, it's pretty dark out here, but let's see if we can walk around and check out some of the other telescopes that are here tonight. So while I went off to document the night using my cameras, Fabio stayed at our telescope site, educating the public and taking some astro photography. The turnout for tonight was way more than we expected, but it's really what makes an event like this special. When the public can come out and see things that they've never actually seen with their own eyes. Or right about. Oh, right about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's nice. Yeah, well, you're old. You were back. You were alive back then. Two point no, five million years. Uh, oh, this no, is Copernicus. The, the, yeah, the scientists <laughs> that work here in Mount Wilson are the ones that discovered that this was a galaxy. In, in the past, they thought we were the only 
the yeah. galaxy there was. Oh, oh that's what, yeah. Okay. There, yeah. The guys here that built those those telescopes you see here, the, the, yeah. Yeah. Really? Are the guys that, that you know, I think it was here. Hubble used to come. Hubble. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're the ones that discovered this, so it's not really uh, part of our environment. Oh, I mean, back then, I mean... Back then, we just thought, okay, that's we a galaxy. One. We had one, yeah. Yeah. Oh. How's it going, Fabio? Great. Good night. What have you found so far? Saturn. Yeah. Looking at it, we also found Jupiter. Okay. Also found uh, Alberto. Alberto. Is that was what we were looking at, Alberto? I think it's called. Very cool. It's a double star. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's some cool constellations out there. There's Cassiopeia, the Swan. Yeah. It's pretty bright out here, though. Well, yeah, it's a city. Yeah. We're going to have to try this in Pinos, right? Yes. That's well, next month? Mount Pinos next month. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you an update. So the star party is almost over. But uh, yeah, it's been crazy. It's been a lot of people that showed up to this thing tonight. A lot more than I thought there was gonna be, but they did advertise it, so that's plus. But uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not sure how well the uh, Jupiter picture is going to turn out. We tried, I don't know, we're gonna have to see uh, Astrophotography is a little complicated and, uh, you know, we need to work on it in post and see what can be done. Hopefully our GoPro time lapse came out okay though, so I think we will run to that in a second and I'll show you that, but uh, yeah, overall it's been a fun time. I think, you know, it's almost over now, we're going to start packing up and putting everything in the car and then head down from the mountain. But uh, yeah, this has been fun and uh, I think next month we're probably going to go out and do something similar to this, so stay tuned.